also Brad Perry is in Coronado. He is still having a little gelato and he's getting ready to go do a little yoga. Yes, we're going to gelato it up and then we head to yoga in Coronado. So we're gonna have some fun here. Uh, pretty cool place. And again, the big yoga journal event happening uh, over here. So be ready, you guys. I have my downward dog, my um, touch the sky, my, um, I don't know, what other moves are there? Your warrior alive. two. We'll your warrior two. Mm -hmm. Warrior two. Obviously warrior, not a seasoned warrior. yoga guest. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. No. <laughs> no. I know yoga, but I just, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, it's going to be fun. Can't wait All for right. that, Brad. Thanks, Thank Brad. you. Let's Oh, so much to do on that tiny island we call Coronado, and Brad Perry is out there having some gelato right now, and then he's off to do a little yoga. Yes, yoga and gelato. It more, that goes together. <laughs> Actually, doesn't, doesn't it? Yoga and gelato, right, David? Absolutely, healthy habits. Let me ask you, how do you say yoga in Italian? Yoga. See, and, and how do you say gelato in Italian? Gelato. There, it goes together. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. You guys are kind of cool. You guys are a great little staple here. How long have you guys been in Coronado? This store is nine years old this year. Nine years old. And 12 years celebrating up in, uh, in, in Seattle. Where? Yeah, last week was the, the 12th anniversary of our business and the first store opened in Seattle, yes. This is great. And they down here, they also have one over in La Jolla area, which is really nice. And we were talking about the history of, of gelato, and it's kind of cool. But the history is it started as snow? Yeah, well, the first the uh, first uh, form of gelato was uh, uh, from a fellow uh, uh, Bontalenti, Signor Bontalenti, in, in the 15th century. And back then, yeah, they brought ice and snow from the mountains, and then they flavored it with fresh fruit and, and, and juice of the fruit. And, and that's how they served it. And then the first gelato store actually opened by Italians, uh, Francesco Procopio, but in Paris, because that was the center of all uh, retail back then. This is what I want someone to do. I want someone to come in and, and, and just try you at your gelato knowledge because you actually went to school for this right yeah absolutely i, I you know this is this is uh, my life that's that's what i live and breathe and i want wanted to know everything about it before we can serve it to people that's very cool and, and this is a very important thing i mean in in italy like if you're going to make gelato you need to make sure you know what you're doing oh yeah i mean they're going to test you on it plus you know in in italy we got we got 35,000 gelaterias in in the country so you compete with quality you know it's it's a very different uh, 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 commercial environment and just like coffee gelato pizza you all you compete with is all mom and pops is you just have to be that much better than the next guy and you are it's great and then alex over here oh say hello to mom and grandma hi mom and grandma hi mom and grandma how you doing uh we gotta bring you gonna bring some gelato to them i am right. i'll probably pack a nice pint of what kind do you think they uh coffee coffee is they like open this up really quick because this is what's amazing when you look in here it's all ready to go again people have to realize gelato means ice cream but it's not made like ice cream right no it's cooked first and it chored slower it is made out of all natural ingredients that is our gelato anyway so it, is, it just results in a lot lighter uh, product uh, it's creamy in texture but it is a lot stronger in flavor so it you know it, it satisfies your taste buds a lot more but it's not gonna sit in your stomach all right we need to do a little sampling here of course that uh, uh, since I'm going to go do yoga I need to make sure there's something to eat uh, I'm gonna try what's this one right here that's coffee this one's but that's real make coffee I don't want to do a real coffee why don't we do a little Scoop, we'll do a scoop of, um, you know what, I'm going to be healthy and be smart. Let's go, which one do you think? Flavor? Maybe strawberry. Let's go strawberry. Pear is very good. Let's go strawberry. There we go. So David and Lisa, it is gelato day uh, all over. And it's great. We had a lady come in that says, oh my goodness, I was in Italy. I've been looking for gelato. She like lived down the street. She's like, I didn't know you were here. So she's come there. Look how cute that looks too. That is just like, oh, I know. that is it right there. Gelato always so. looks so cute in that little hey. cup. Yes, sir. Watch also, out. I have a music announcement. Uh, the uh, Kabo tickets are available. American Kabo Festival is going on, and I found out one of my favorite bands is coming. Roger Klein, the Peacemakers, are coming there, and I'm hopefully playing the Gig Town Kabo stage. So that is a real thing. So we're, I'm trying <laughs> to hopefully thing. play that stage. But get your Kabo, the Kabo passes. You want to get them, and actually, I like David uh, to get the big VIP, and that is a, uh, a, a motorhome that we can hang out in. So. <laughs> You David, mean, you mean David Davis? One. Money bags is going to front, Davis, yes. front, front the, yes. the cash for that for all of us? All right. Well, I'll see what yeah, I can for the, do. The, the, the VIP suite of the luxury, uh, uh, you know, Got it. RV. All right. Yeah. All right, Brad. All right. All right. We'll check in with you in a little